this is a trick tutorial on how to train your rat to paint. The goal of this trick is for our rat to be able to walk over to the bucket, pick up the paintbrush, take the paintbrush, target the paintbrush to the paper, and then do several strokes of paint onto the paper. Okay, to begin, train your rat to target the paper. Place the paper in front of them and reward them when they sniff or touch the paper until they are targeting it consistently. Remember, when you start off, targeting can be something as simple as your rat turning their head in the direction of the paper. You'll want to build this up until they are consistently touching it or sniffing it. Later on, we will be teaching them to target the paintbrush to the paper, so it's essential that they know that touching it is the goal. Once your rat knows to touch the paper, it's time to introduce the paintbrush. Place the paintbrush in front of your rat and reward them for sniffing the brush. Slowly increase your expectations until they are nibbling it, and then increase your expectations until they begin to pick it up. If they get into a rut of picking it up the wrong way, you can try handing them the brush to help them understand which way you want them to pick it up. Remember to click and reward whenever they pick up the paintbrush the right way. Once your rat is consistently picking up the paintbrush from the ground handle side up, it's time to move on to training them to target the brush to the paper. Place the paper in front of your rat and hand them the brush. Indicate the target to them by pointing or tapping on the paper. If you have practiced targeting enough, your rat should know that you want them to target to the paper. They may drop the brush at this point, in which case you just won't reward them. Reward them as soon as they make any motion towards the paper with the paintbrush in their mouth. We're going to gradually build this up until they are bringing the paintbrush all the way to the paper. Be sure to spend lots of time on this step as it is the basis for this whole trick. As your rat gets better at targeting the paper, you can fade out your hand until they are targeting it with the paintbrush all on their own. Once your rat gets the hang of being handed the paintbrush and targeting the paper, it's time to just place the paintbrush on the floor and reward your rat for targeting it to the paper. Now that our rat understands what they're supposed to be doing with the paintbrush, it's time to move on to placing the paintbrush into our paint bucket. Now, my bucket in this case is just a small container which I have duct taped to my painting ground, which is a piece of cardboard. You can do something like this, or if you can find a sturdier bucket, all the better. Now place your paintbrush into the bucket and reward your rat for taking it out. If your rat does not take the paintbrush out of the bucket, you'll need to gradually shape this as you have in other steps. Once your rat understands how to take the paintbrush out of the bucket, it's time to combine that with the targeting behavior. This time, once your rat takes the paintbrush out of the bucket, instead of clicking and rewarding them, point to the paper again. If you've practiced the previous step enough, your rat should know to target the paintbrush right to the paper, at which point you should click and reward them. Once your rat gets the hang of the bucket, it's time to add some water to it. Now again, this is going to be distracting to your rat, so you need to lower your expectations for the other parts of this trick. Begin by asking your rat to pull the brush out of the bucket and target it again to the paper. Once they are doing this consistently again, it's time to move on. The very last step is to add food coloring to the paintbrush. Again, this may prove distracting to your rats, so you'll need to lower your expectations. Once they are consistently taking the paintbrush out of the bucket and targeting it to the paper, your rat has learned to paint. Congratulations! Now that our rat knows how to paint, we want to gradually increase the number of strokes they are doing before you are giving them a click and a treat. To get your rat to do more than one stroke, wait until they have targeted the paintbrush to the paper and then don't click and treat. Since your rat already knows what they're supposed to be doing, namely targeting the paintbrush to the paper, they'll probably try again, taking the paintbrush away and then putting it back against the paper. At this point, you want to click and jackpot reward them. Over the next few trials, sometimes click when your rat has done one stroke and sometimes wait until they have done multiple. This way, you are training your rat to do more than one stroke because they never know how many are needed to get a treat. To make this trick more impressive, you can add more paint buckets with different colors of food coloring in them. This way, when your rat grabs the paintbrush from one of these buckets and puts it onto the paper, they will be using different colors. And that's all there is to it. This trick can be one of the harder tricks to teach just because it involves so many steps. However, once your rat learns it, it's an adorable and great way to keep mementos of them. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.